This is our cold and hot drink vending machine project. So firstly, the user will have to press the start button either in the HMI screen or the physical input PB1. And once they press the start button, this operation lamp will turn on and it will turn on for the whole process until the drink is dispensed. So until the item reaches the sensor end. And they, the user should press the start button as the first step or else they won't be able to proceed to the next step. So for example, if I don't press the start button and the operation lamp is not on, even if I press these two buttons, the screen won't be able to change. So okay, so for now our stock drinks is at zero because we want to show what happens when the stock is at zero. So I press the button. So for example, cold drink. So since the stocks of the drinks are at zero, the number to key in for the drink are not visible. And this is to prevent the user from keying in the number. So to refill the drink, only the staff can do this. So there's a staff button here. And all the staff are required to have a username and a password. So this will prevent um, other people from going into the stop refilling screen. Okay, sorry. Okay, so after they key in the username and password, they are able to see the number of drinks available. So it's all zero. That's why just now the number for the drinks isn't shown. So they'll press refill and then they will refill all the drinks. And then after that, they'll press stop to see if they refill everything. So everything's refilled already. Press back. And once um, it changed to this screen, it will automatically lock off so that they will have to key in the password to get into the display stock screen. So now we can already start ordering the drink. So for example, we'll start with cold drink. So yeah, now the number will appear. And then for example, 11. So the LED will light up, indicating that this is the drink that you chose. So the cost is $1.20. So after you chose the drink, you'll press this button, which will proceed to the payment. So the drink just now was $1.20, which is going to be shown over here. So the user has two options, either to pay with a $1 or a $2. Or if, for example, the total cost like this one is above $1, the user is able to put in two one dollars. So for example, they will just have to press one dollar twice. So yeah, so the, the change will be 80 cents. And once the change is displayed here, the LED will light up and then change has been dispensed. So after this, the user will collect their change. And after they collect their change, they will have to press this button, which indicates like they collected their change which means um, the drink should be ready to be dispensed. So we click on this button, it will change to this screen. So this is the drink that we selected. So this is the LED that will light up. And this warning, warning LED will blink throughout the whole process. And this warning is to show that the person, sorry, the user should not, for example, like disrupt the dispensing. So the user cannot like shake or tilt the machine and it will blink until the drink is dispensed so okay, sorry a uh, cold drink so it will start from the sensor start <coughs> so once the motor is move is moving this will light up to indicate that the motor is moving forward so it will move forward until the sensor end. So after it reaches the sensor end, everything will turn off. And there is this button, drink collected. So if the person doesn't collect the item and tries to press this button, it won't be able to go back to the start screen. So even if I try to press it, it won't be able to change screen. So only when the person takes the item from the sensor end, then the screen is able to change. Oh, sorry. Fill. And then, 
screen collected. And then now we went back to the start screen. So we will now do the same for the hot drink. So start button. For example, the first one, 31, which is 70 cents. Light up also. So for the hot drinks, there will be different add-ons the user can add. For example, there's like milk, sugar, creamer, or maybe like no add-ons. And each of them costs like 30 cents. So for example, um, maybe milk, so 30 cents. So it will be $1. So if the person, maybe they change their mind and doesn't want an add-on, they can press this back button, so they can choose no add-on. Then it will go back to the original price, which is 70 cents. So, and the user can key in like any $2 or $1. So for example, $1, change has been dispensed. After the user collect their change, they will press this button. So for hot drinks, um, each of this item, will light up when it's dispensing and it will each of them dispense for three seconds so the order will be in from the sensor start this powder or tea bag in this case tea bag since we chose the tea it will dispense for three seconds and then after that it will it will turn off and then motor forward will, will turn on for three seconds and then after 3 seconds, the motor will turn off and then this LED for hot water will turn on for 3 seconds and then so on so far. And because we chose no add-on, this condiment will not light up and after this light up for 3 seconds, the motor forward will go until the drink is dispensed, so until the sensor ends. So And this is the timer to count down from 3 seconds. So sensor start, it will count down from 3 seconds, it will also light up, and motor forward for 3 seconds. And then because we chose no add-on, the motor forward will go all the way until the sensor end. So once we sensor end, everything switch off, and the user, same as for the cold drink, the user will have to collect their drink. So the item will have to be removed from the sensor end in order to proceed to the next screen. And then now they can collect. And then now everything restarts. So now we'll do the cancel button that was seen in the payment screen and the selecting of the drink screen. So for example, like okay, we for example like the user starts in starts that ends up in this page there's this cancel button if they don't want to for example they decided not to get any drinks they will press this cancel button and the uh, it will go back to the start screen so press cancel operation lamp will also turn off and it will be yellow so okay now we'll check the stocks for for example um, cold drink so maybe cold drink like this one is 3. So even if the user keys in 11, lights up, but then decides to cancel, the stock will not decrease. So it will remain the same. Yes, it's still at 3. So, and there's also a cancel button at the payment screen. So maybe for example, the person is already wants to pay already. There's also another cancel button here. Unless the person pays for the drink and presses this change collected button, they won't be able to cancel their drink or cancel the dispensing of the drink. So for example, over here I can press cancel and the stock of the drink will not decrease. It will still be the same. Yeah, it's still at three. So that is what the cancel button does.